It's time now for our morning mix. A nine-year-old boy from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, already has his high school diploma. David Balagoon recently graduated from Cyber Charter School. He is a member of Mensa, which is actually the largest and oldest high IQ society in the world. He says he loves science and computer programming and wants to be an astrophysicist when he has finished college. Won't be long for him no. probably. Right now he's taking classes at a community college while he decides what his next move is gonna be. His family's searching for colleges yeah. and you imagine oh. everybody's saying, come to ours because that's incredible. Well, and he, both of his parents have advanced degrees, but even they say dealing with somebody that is mm. a young boy with intellectual gifts is challenging for them because he's so far ahead of where he should be and even wow. so far ahead sometimes of where his parents are yeah they just don't have that say so it's um, a blessing but then they they did admit like it's it can challenge. be challenging trying yeah. to understand and do what's best well, for him also thinking of sending your ni nine-year-old to college right you yeah. have an 18 year old going to college that's a that's scary big enough. difference right so that would be you'd be planning for that differently like he's well-rounded though Chris he also plays the piano mm -hmm. he's involved in martial arts and other sports as well so it's not just that he's sitting you know in front of a math book right. all the time he's he, just a he smart well intelligent young boy mm -hmm. congrats David all right bitter cold temperatures hit break record-breaking lows in the Northeast mm -hmm. over the weekend the wind chill or what the temperature feels like on the summit of Mount Washington New Hampshire dropped to minus 108 degrees on Friday oh the actual temperature on Mount Washington dropped to as low as 46 degrees with 97 mile wow. an hour winds. That feels really, really cold. That's and the, the record low is from Mount Washington back mm. in 1885, it was minus 50. So it was close to, and that's just the, the temperature, wow. not the wind chill. Wow, we had a, a former executive producer here for Get Up DC, uh, now lives in Maine. And he was talking about how cold it was up there. There was wind overnight and it actually brought in the like rain and freezing rain Ooh. inside his house. Like it was oh, in no. the windows. That's how strong that wind was and how bitterly cold it was freezing inside his house. Oh, you just, and then you think about those that maybe d don't have a place True. to go True. or a warm enough home or can pay the heat yeah. and you just feel for them. Or even people who have a good setup, that is hard to yeah, withstand. Yeah, still can't deal with it. Yeah. 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 All right, let's take a brief uh, walk down memory lane, shall we? Yes, we haven't seen much snow this winter, but check this out. It is a site that will bring back both good and bad memories. I remember this. For a lot of us. 13 years ago, we were dealing with the so-called snowmageddon in the DMV between one and three feet of snow fell between February 5th and February 6th back in 2010. DC saw 17.8 inches of snow and Dulles Airport saw its largest snow event ever, 32.4 inches of snow. So this was my first, wow. I just moved to Baltimore to work there, my first winter outside of Florida. And I'm like, what in the world did I get like? myself into? Because if you remember, it started in December. We had a big snowstorm in December, and mm. I was doing sports at the time, and the Ravens game still happened. Then it happened again in January, and then it happened again in February. And at some point, like our station, I had to stay at a hotel. Yeah. Um, and I was just digging everybody's cars out because I was like, oh, there's, there was no, there's sports. no sports. There's nothing to do. Yeah. Um, it was quite, quite the adventure. I remember seeing my sister lived here at the time. I wasn't here, and she lived down by the Capitol. And obviously, the streets were just flooded with mm -hmm. snow. So she was staying in the middle of the street, the Capitol behind her. The photos are oh, gorgeous from that time. I bet. Just hopefully you didn't need to get somewhere because it did not look like it was a uh, time to get out on the roads at all. I will say that was the one and only time being in news, not having to come in because normally we oh, still have to come true. in and cover snow or hurricanes or whatnot. So it was a Wednesday in February and they just said for me to stay home because wow. there was an emergency like you weren't supposed to be on the roads and it was just so eerie having like yeah. nobody. Yeah. So we, we haven't seen mm. quite that in no. the last uh, many Don't years. Don't us, Krista. <laughs> yeah. I, want some, I want some snow. Okay, finally, Super Bowl parties might be a little more costly this year with inflation putting pressure on everyone, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to food prices. But there is some good news on the food front. The cost of some Super Bowl staples uh, is actually mm. down from last That's year. Surprising. Wells Fargo put out its football food report for the big game. Among the big winners, chicken wings <laughs> are con down considerably about 22% than last year. Good news for guac lovers, the price of avocados is down about 20% compared to last year. Steak prices are down about a dollar since last January, but mm -hmm. if you want to indulge in adult beverage for the Super Bowl, 
it might cost you mm. beer, wine, spirits, all up from last year, according to the report. Beer's up the most. I think we're going to be making mixed drinks. It yeah. looks like with the spirits on the end there. All I want is pizza, and you didn't mention pizza, so <laughs> I hope that pizza has not pizza. changed because we're getting pizza no matter what. <laughs> You're a pizza girl. I'm a chicken yeah. wing. I love my chicken wings. Great news for you on the chicken we, wings. And I remember because every time my husband go out and I go out, we get chicken wings. But the prices had kept well, going up. up by dollar by dollar. Now, a lot of restaurants haven't brought those prices back down, mm. but at least if you want to buy them at the store, maybe it's Cook a better yourself. price. Yeah. yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. Good luck <laughs> with your pizza. <laughs>